talk about my LA journey <laughs> um, oh my god where do I start I always always wanted to go to the US um, there's even a video of me when I was five years old I was telling my mom I want to go to America <laughs> I just watch watch them on TV and I see the American lifestyle and I've always always wanted to have that lifestyle to dress whatever I want to dress and have a crazy hairstyle if I want to and um, I don't know just just to be free and the music became a really big part of me but anyway so when I turned 20 one, 22. I planned to go there and then things got very <laughs> complicated. <laughs> that's that's another story video. Graduated from 3D animation finally. Um, I have a degree now. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> and this time I didn't depend on anyone. I was 25. Yeah, so 25. I planned everything, every plan I made didn't work out. <laughs> every time I try, something comes up. Usually I don't feel very comfortable listening to my own songs, but when I wrote Under the Stars, I actually really enjoyed listening to it. I just played in my room and I danced to it and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm dancing to my own song. If I'm dancing to my own song, then it must be a really good song. And I'm gonna go to the US and I'm gonna get the song produced. I even tried learning how to produce m by myself and it was so difficult. <laughs> I do have some instrumentals on my SoundCloud if you wanna check it out. <laughs> but they're not professional. I remember I almost gave up and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try and make it work here in Dubai. Um, and when I did that, in just a few seconds, I I remember that one of my friends is actually going to the US. So I messaged my friend. Yep. And then here starts my journey. I went to Dallas because that's where my friend was going. At least my first week in the US, it won't be just me by myself because I'm. I don't want to be so scared, but I was very excited. Like when I <laughs> when I reached the airport, and the guy checking my passport, asking me, um, "So you're here on vacation?" I was like, "Yes, I'm in here. And I'm going to meet my friend." And I was so, <laughs> so happy. I know they were asking me questions just because they have to ask, not because they actually care. <laughs> but I was so excited. I still can't believe that I I'm in the US. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> Hi my friend. <laughs> so tired. But I'm so happy.
Look at me, solo traveler. <laughs> I feel a little bit nervous. Just being in a different country. <sighs> You want some donuts, don't you? <laughs> Next day I I saw my friend and we went for a walk, get some food, and then we went to this lake. I don't remember the name. <laughs> what was it called? Lake 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 something. And the golf place. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> We hang out with my friend's family, it was very nice, but it was only for a few days and then I went to LA. Now it's just me and this time I have no one waiting for me. I don't know anyone in LA. I only know a friend who is in Anaheim and that's it. <laughs> I went to, um, oh this is funny. <laughs> so. And I was planning my trip and I searched on Google um, recording studios in LA and there were so many in the Hollywood area so I was like oh my god this is where I'm going this is where I need to go I, I booked an Airbnb in Hollywood and that was a mistake <laughs> because when I got there the area wasn't it didn't feel safe <sighs> I felt like this um, um, man was following me one time and it was only my first day there so I get scared. just went to the supermarket and I bought a lot of food and I stayed in my room. I was just searching for another Airbnb in a different area. I found a place in Santa Monica. So beautiful, so cute. It, it was a family who, who lived in that house so I, I really felt like I was safe finally because I'm with a nice family. I'm just waiting for Rosie to come and pick me up. She's not late. <laughs> so my friend who was living in Anaheim came to Santa Monica and um, we spent the day on the beach. It was so beautiful. That was my first time in Santa Monica and I fell in love with it. I, I was like, this is Paradise. <laughs> and we went to the movies. And then when it was nighttime, we decided to go to Anaheim. Of course, I had my suitcase and I, I was staying in Fullerton. So I got ready and I went to VidCon. It was actually wonderful. I met everyone. I met so many people from you now. And here's all the pictures. And then it was time to leave. My mom to go back to LA. So I took the train, and yes, this is my first time taking train by myself. <laughs> I'm back to LA, and I'm wearing my Miranda Sings shirt. <laughs> this pretty. Luckily, my friend was uh, visiting 
in LA for a few days so I met her and uh, we just hang out around Venice I try hula hooping <laughs> I remember just feeling like I was flying I was so happy like it's just a hula hoop I had no idea it could make you feel freer <laughs> in the river. <laughs> Look at the animals. So cute. Huh? <laughs> it's so rainy. I know. It's cute girl. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And then Janelle had to leave and I was alone again and I was like I'm in a journey and I have to focus. I searched online, open mics in LA, started going to a lot of open mics, I started having friends and I just love it. There's so many nice people and no it's easy I just go and I ask them like how long have you been playing guitar, uh, what kind of music do you play? It's so easy to start a conversation when you know you're in this place where you all are doing the same thing. I became this free, free and confident girl I never knew I could be. <laughs> um, so this journey was just enriching. Is this the right word? I think so. So many times I was scared, so many times I felt I was alone. But overall, I was having this feeling every day I would wake up in the morning feeling so grateful because I'm like oh my god I'm it's like I'm making my dream come true every day but this is just part one um, I'm gonna do part two in another video but this is so long it's so very long I will tell you in the second part we started recording under the stars and all about the music video and everything but um, yeah, this is it for part one, and I hope that you enjoyed it. It was very special to me. The rest of the story will be in this part two. Bye! So dark and rain, now it's time to eat. So dark and rain.